how much work is done by the gas in the process shown in the figure. So here we're starting at a pressure of 200 kilopascals and a volume of 100 cubic centimeters, and then we're ending at the same pressure of 200 kilopascals, but now with a volume of 300 cubic centimeters. So the key to understanding this one is that when we have a pressure uh, versus volume diagram, if we take the area under the curve, all of this area here will give us the work done by the gas. So why don't we break it up into two sections? So we'll have a section right here where we're going to make a box. And then we'll find the area of the triangle on top of it. So if we have, and oh, th the other thing is we need to make sure that we have everything in the correct units. They give us kilopascals, but we want SI of just pascals. And then they give us a volume of cubic centimeters, but we want cubic meters. So first off, we have for the box, we have 200 is the height, but let's change that to pascals, so that's 200,000 pascals. And we're going to multiply the height by the length, which is 200 cubic centimeters, but we want 200 cubic meters. So if we have 200, we move the decimal place over three, or six I mean, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So we should have 0 0.0002 cubic meters now. And when we plug that in, we get 40 joules. Now let's do the triangle. So for the triangle, we have the area or the formula again is one half base times height. So we have one half. The base in this case is again the same as the um, is the the box. So now we're going to have one half times 0 0.0002 cubic meters. Now we're going to multiply that by the height, which again is 200 pascals. 200 thousand pascals. So that gives us 20 joules. So now the total work done by the gas is going to be 60 joules for the total area under the curve.